Jennifer and Carrie, it sure is. One of the major problems that police have been seeing and we have been reporting on is these teens becoming repeat offenders. One of these cases is an example of that. She should have known better and just let us do our thing. According to Newark police, this is what a teenage girl said after being arrested on robbery charges Tuesday. Police say they arrested two 15 year olds and a 17 year old who were all living in the same foster home for allegedly robbing Brewski's drive through store. Reports say an employee told them to leave, but the girls charged at her, stole vapes and cookies, then kicked her in the head and left. Police say they found the girls and took them in for questioning. I obtained the police report for this incident. An officer's statement says during the interviews, the girls, quote, laughed, joked, sang songs, danced, and continued to make jokes about what they did at Brewski's. One thought it was hilarious that she kicked the clerk. He also says at no time did anyone show any type of remorse for what they did, end quote. The officer also wrote one girl bragged about being let out of the Franklin County Juvenile Detention Center just hours after stealing a car with the Kia boys and running away from police. Meanwhile, almost 50 miles away in Grove City, police say they charged a 14 year old and a 15 year old with attempting to steal a car. There was a guest at one of our local high schools. Um, they went out to their vehicle, noticed that the rear windshield was broken and that the column was peeled. Lieutenant Justin Gallo says this happened during an after school athletic event. He says multiple cars were hit, all were Kias and Hyundais. And so it was kind of in three different parking lots. It wasn't just one. Lieutenant Gallo says police found the suspects in less than 24 hours and he does not believe they attend the school. We're blessed in Grove City to have officers to be able to re reply to all calls and respond to all calls. So it is one that with the stolen cars with juveniles, we have seen um, an increase just like every suburb in Central Ohio. Newark police says that all three girls involved in the robbery have been submitted to the Licking County Courts for review. I did reach out to the Franklin County Juvenile Court to get a comment on this ongoing issue. They tell me that the courts are the end point and in order to solve this problem, everyone needs to contribute. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.